Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. I am so very sorry that I haven't posted in a couple weeks. I think it's been two, maybe it's been three. Um, I have been very, very busy, um, and there's been a lot going on. I just wanted to tell you guys about it. I posted last Friday, two Fridays ago, last Friday. Yes, last Friday, a week from yesterday, that um, I left the dealership. Yes, I did, and it was it was a very hard choice to come by to do so because, you know, I everything I learned, I learned from the group of people that was there, and they're the ones that took a chance on me, so it was a very bittersweet moment to move on and move up. So, what am I doing, may you ask? I am going to be a field service technician for a forklift company. Um, so, I'll have my own truck. I'll be going around all over um, my area, kind of. I'm, if anybody's familiar, I'll be going to Cal, Cortland, Rockford, Belvedere, um, and like some of the suburbs of Chicago. So I'll be going all over doing whatever they need me to do pretty much. So my first day was Wednesday, um, the 10th. And so these last couple of days I've just been doing tablet training, which is just how every training is. But that being said, I am so super stoked about this. Um, it is going to be something completely different than what I'm used to. Um, the pay is way better. And, you know, it's just, it's a really good company to work for, so I'm really excited about it. Um, I've heard nothing but good things. Um, and, you know, I couldn't have done this without the support of my fiancé and the support of everybody in Text Talk and Shop. You know, when the opportunity first came about, it was, I think it was before Christmas time, or it was in December, and I kind of talked to them about it, and I was like, hey, I, you know, how do you guys, what do you guys feel about this? What do you guys think about this? And all of them did nothing but love and support me, which is really what I needed because I love the dealership, but it was it was time for me to branch my wings and fly away. Um, that being said, I left on a really good note with them. I love, I still talk to the guys there, um, the managers and everything. And if this doesn't work out, which I don't know why it wouldn't work out, um, I am more than welcome to go back. But so yeah, that's what's been going on with me the past couple weeks. Um, I don't have any tools to show you today because my box is still at the shop. And my box is still at the shop because I asked my Mac guy who sold me the box if he could move it to my house. He said yes, obviously. And um, he came to get it on Friday and his lift gate wouldn't. It went down, but it would not come back up. So he's been having trouble trying to find um, somebody to to help him get a truck there or whatever so which I guess is okay I'm just I just appreciate that he's even doing it for me because I don't really need tools until the end of next week the week before because it's just all training learning stuff about forklifts because I know nothing about forklifts um but yeah so that's what I'm doing um I still plan on making videos as long as you guys want to hear from me um you know i got some couple i got a couple of reviews i need to do on some tools which i was going to do this weekend but i don't have my box which means i don't have the tools um so you can expect a couple of reviews on some tools for me soon um but yeah so that's what i've been doing that's where i'm going i'm working on forklifts now as a mobile technician which is crazy but i love it because it's kind of a make your own hours kind of not you know just as long as you get your aid in you're good and um, my biggest worry about being out in the field by myself is, well, I obviously don't know anything about forklifts. And I, I straight up told them that. I was like, hey, look, you know, I'm, I'm very willing to learn. I will do anything that I need to do to learn or whatever. But it makes me nervous being out there in the field by myself. And he was like, well, you know, with the newer technicians, you do a ride along for a couple weeks and then we kind of throw you out there. But that being said, if you're struggling with something, you can call um, my field service manager and then his manager. Um, and then all the other techs, I met them yesterday, actually, and they are all seem very helpful. We have a lead tech with, if we ever get like stuck on something, he'll come out to where we are and help us, or he'll be like, Hey, did you try this or this or this? Um, so that's pretty cool. Another thing that I really like about, um, this place that I'm going is the, the field manager and then his manager both started off as techs. Um, and to me, that's really awesome because... If your manager knows how the job is and has done that job, he knows like the shitty situations and all that. And like, they just know. And it, to me, that's 10 times better because I, I came from a place where our service manager knew nothing about cars. So if they got a complaint or if we had questions, we either had to figure it out ourselves, you know, or go to a, like look stuff up. So I'm pretty excited about that. 
I'm just excited though overall. Um, anybody that already works on forklifts and stuff like that, if you guys can give me any tips or tricks or things to look out for, I'd be 100% grateful for that. Um, like I said, I'm just really excited and grateful for this opportunity. Um, I honestly think it'll better myself. It'll, with the hours being kind of what I want as long as I get eight hours, um, it'll, I won't be working as many hours for more money than I was making. And not that money is everything, but uh, it is definitely nice to be making some decent money now. Um, but with that, I appreciate you guys taking your time out of your day to watch my video and me ramble on because we all know I ramble on a lot. Um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like I said, if anybody's got any tips or tricks about me work going from automotive to forklifts or I don't even know if you call that heavy equipment, whatever you call it, um, I greatly appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.